Welcome everybody, Dan here with r, &R RV. Today we're checking out the 2017 Keystone Cougar 315 QB. Uh, as always, we're gonna start right up front and immediately you're gonna notice this eye-catching fiberglass front cap with that classic Keystone Cougar look. Uh, and then you're gonna look down and you see you have an electric tongue jack. Press the button, makes it easy to use no matter when it is. Um, you got your dual propane tanks, the hard plastic cover, a place to keep your batteries. Uh, I do love that they opted to go with the magnetic latches for this. You can see how easy it is just to open it up with one hand. And then I also, one of my biggest pet peeves is they'll make the underpass storage, say this standard width wide, but they'll only make the opening like this, like eight to the foot um, less wide so you can't actually fit anything that wide in here because they don't fit through the opening they didn't do that here they left you a lot of space to fit things down here uh, you got your stabilizer jacks in all four corners your water connections right here you got this really good look with the with the frameless windows uh, the frameless windows they open as you can see the latches are up top so they open from down below so you can't open them in the rain I don't suggest like a like hurricane type weather or anything um, but you can't open them in the rain it will keep the water out uh, right here you're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you the Keystone um, flaps you have the first le le the first layer of protection the second layer of protection and then you have this U gutter right here um, and you really want it, this is built so it keeps the water out of your slide. So if you close your slide while it's raining or anything like that, or if it's just been raining, um, it's designed to push all the water down here onto this flap, where then it will start dripping off instead of dripping off from right here. Uh, and that way if you close your slide, none of the, none of the water is gonna get stuck in there. Coming along this side, you're gonna see your other slide right here. Uh, this big window back here, this is where the, the kids' room is. Um, your spare tire right back here, I hope you never have to use it, but you have it, you know it's there. Uh, this right here does slide out, um, and it is kind of like a little bike rack, which is pretty cool. And then coming to the front, you can see you got your dual doors, uh, you got a power awning, uh, these frameless windows right here where the bunks are. And you do get an outside kitchen on this guy, which is nice. Um, you have your fridge right here. And you do get a little ice box, which is cool. This literally just comes out. Uh, latches on down right there. You got extra counter space on the sides that come out. And then this pops just right open and you get your couple stovetop burners, uh, a sink, which is pretty cool. And you do get an electrical outlet right there, so if you want to plug something in and have something else, cooking station-wise or cooking utensil-wise, um, you can do that as well. Uh, obviously just as easy to put it back in as it is to take out, they just slide back in. Lift it up, push it in, close it up, and it's gone. Um, you got two doors on this guy. Uh, this door goes directly into the bathroom, which is the best way to go about having two doors. Um, it obviously locks from this side as well. But that way you don't have your kids, or adults for that matter, dragging or walking through their, their muddy feet just to go to the bathroom. They can just go in and out, in and out. Uh, you got your two outdoor speakers right here. Uh, you do get an electrical outlet right here underneath the awning um, and then just to finish up the nice clean look right here at the other side of the underpass storage now walking up you're gonna immediately notice how beautiful these this flooring is and you're gonna notice that you have nice big drawers right here um, I normally would probably keep shoes and maybe the bottom one uh, the top one, maybe some supplies for my campfire, things like that, outside in this top one, so they're accessible without having to go all the way in and find them, but they leave it open to you, obviously. Um, coming this way, you're going to have your bed right here. Uh, you got little his and hers uh, table side. It's right here, uh, and you also have electrical plug-ins right up by your head. Um, you can fit, you can plug in your... Uh, electronic devices, CPAP machine, anything like that. And you also have this little hidden compartment down here um, where you can keep other things. 
his and her his and hers wardrobes. Uh, nice generous space with the with the hook. I do love the the wood finish they decided to go with on this. It's not it's uh it's like a little more rustic look to it. And you can see how deep this goes. It goes all the way through. Um, and you do get a nice little built-in on the back there, uh, which is pretty nice. You got windows on both sides. They're gonna open for some natural airflow. Um, this is deck ducted, so you will get AC in here even if the door's closed. And then right over there on that far wall, you can see um, that's where your TV hookup would be if you wanted to mount the TV. You do have a door right here that closes, so you can have your own fine space. If you want to go to bed for the night and be done, you're out. You're out of the way. You, um, you have all your your slide and awning and light hookups all right here. You do have the the porch and step light as well. I know it's daylight time, so it's kind of hard to see, but you got them. Uh, making our way to the living room, you got a nice big TV in this guy. Uh, it is on a swing arm, makes it easy to watch from whether you're at the dinette or on this couch right here. Uh, pretty good storage up top and that continued kind of rustic wood look all throughout uh, you have a nice little built-in right here with some storage down below you have your AM FM Bluetooth player right here this is also going to be uh, it actually also has headphones um, disc and the USB is right here which is pretty cool um, couch right here. This is actually um, a hideaway bed as well. It's going to fold out into a pretty generous sized bed. I do love the trim they opted to go with. The attention to detail is pretty cool. And it's actually really, really well built and nice. Up top, they didn't leave any open walls on this guy either. You get generous space anywhere they could. Uh, big dinette right here. Big U dinette. Um, definitely is going to see five six people pretty easily um, with a really nice table the nice part about this table is it is portable um, so not only is it going to fold down and create your next bed but if you need an extra table for anything it literally just folds down you can bring it outside and use it as a table i would put a tablecloth on it though i mean it's a pretty nice pretty nice table and i wouldn't want to get scuffed up but packing a table is sometimes a pain um, storage underneath on both sides uh, and you are going to get an electrical outlet right here for plugging in. Uh, making our way this way, you do get a nice space right here. Um, you can keep linens in here, um, maybe some kids' clothes, things like that. But they are going to give you generous space in the kids' room. Kids get their own room. Pretty cool. It has a real door on it as well. Um, and wow, talk about bunkhouse options. Uh, so you're sleeping one, two, three, four. This is it turns out to actually a really big bed that comes all the all the way to here, um, and you could sleep five. This one obviously folds up for a little bit more headroom, um, but it's not super necessary. We're sitting down here. Uh, we could be watching TV. We have that built in right there um, for books, things like that. Um, this is the like the Keystone Teddy Bear. Um, I don't know, fabric or Teddy Bear. I don't know what I'm calling it right now. I'm blanking on it, but I you can kind of see how soft it is. It really is really, really nice. You do get a little bit of drawer room right here that's accessible from when you're sitting down. Um, like I said, the built-ins, but you do get right here, this is kind of the winner of this thing. Nice, generous closet space. I mean, when you can sleep five people in here, you gotta give them storage to put all their stuff. And while you might not have five kids, um, remember, your kids are gonna wanna bring their friends when they go camping. Um, so a camper that sleeps 10 when you have a family of four or five seems like might be a little excessive. But remember, camping's a, camping's a family event. And sometimes it's a family plus friends. And then sometimes it's a family plus another family. So having the option to sleep more is always better. Uh, porcelain toilet right here. Um, undefeated champion of toilets. Far and away better than plastic in every way. Smells better, cleans better, all the above. Uh, nice good storage in here. 
Um, it's actually one of the bigger one of the bigger bathroom storages you're going to find in a travel trailer. A nice big medicine cabinet right here with a generous sink. And they do give you some storage down here below. So if you wanted to have your garbage can or something like that right here, um, that would be a good place for it. Uh, nice, uh, nice shower. Uh, you can see it's not a, not one of the plastic options or anything like that. Um, nice skylight in here as well. I'm six foot one. The signature Dan eye test is actually really roomy. Uh, I not, without even using the skylight, I can definitely shower in this guy no problem. And I know that's a big deal. You also do get the tub. I'm not going to test that out, but you don't always get a tub in these guys. Making our way back to the kitchen. I do love the little, like the rounded display the way they went about this. Um, you do get the, the stainless look on the oven and microwave, but they chose to go with like that same rustic look on the fridge freezer combo. Fridge right here, nice big fridge freezer here. Um, definitely be able to fit anything you might need. Oven right here. Ooh, definitely want to put. Well, I'm not gonna try to do it with one hand, but you can see this is where your rack's gonna be. You got a lot of space north south on this guy, um, and that's what we're looking for on ovens. Um, if you see an oven that only gives you this much room, um, it's not really an oven. I mean. <laughs> More like a toaster oven in my opinion uh you can fit like a good casserole dish or something like that in this one since you are going to be on that second layer down three stove top burners these lift for easy cleaning um light and vent so if you suck at cooking like me you get the smoke out of here and don't smoke everybody out good nice microwave up top I do love the big stainless double bowl sink in this guy. Um, didn't it didn't cut any corners there. Nice giant sink. Um, down here is where I would keep a garbage in the kitchen. So if I'm sitting here peeling potatoes or something like that, uh, easy access right there. Um, I do love um, anytime they put cabinets in the kitchen and they don't have a middle divider. Um, when you have a middle divider like that, it really kind of limits what you can fit in here. Um, you might not be able to fit, um, you know, like your crock pot or things like that because they don't fit in here. Um, so they took that out. Nice big open space. Um, can fit anything you want in there, bigger plates, things like that. With ease. And lastly, right here, you do get one more little um, drawer right here. This is probably where I would keep my utensils, things like that for cooking. Um, and they're not too not too far away um, so you can see how much room the slide gives you in this guy and I do love just the combination of the the flooring with like the rustic look it's a really sharp look in this guy so my name's Dan I'm with r, &R RV um, this has been the 315 QB uh, sleeps up to like 10 people uh, in a nice travel trailer package they didn't skimp on any of the, the major amenities. Um, and you have defined spaces for the kids and the master bedroom. Uh, so I'm not a salesman or anything like that. I don't do numbers. My only job is try to help you find the best RV for you. So my email is down below if you're just starting your search. Um, I don't care where you live or anything like that. I'm just here to help you out. Uh, if I did send you here, Feel free to ask any questions you want, except I'm not a salesman or anything like that. I don't care which one you pick. Um, I just want to make sure you find the best one for you so you're happy um, and happy camping out there. Subscribe to see our latest inventory and thank you so much for watching.